Hey guys, so welcome back. It's the 19th of February, coming up on about 24 degrees. So what's that, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna have a look in the green hive. We're also gonna have a look in the red hive. Just ignore the black box. So we're gonna have a look in the red hive as well. Suss these guys out. We've had a pretty big morning, couple of dead outs failing going to put that one in the nuke another nucleus we had completely dead eaten by ants video is going to be up soon gray hives looking gray hives looking amazing put some frames in there the uh white the white hives looking super duper as well those guys are absolutely booming so now we're going to get into the green hive and the red hive check it out The last time we went into this green hive, they were queen right, and we also had uh, a bit of nectar in the top box, partially capped. So we'll go in here today to suss out how they're going. Good bee numbers to start off with. So they've started to cap a little bit more honey here. Not a massive change from last time. We'll get this box off and suss out the brew. So last time we're in here, we didn't spot the queen, but their numbers are pretty good. Nice light frame. Eggs and larvae through the bottom there. Remember this queen was golden brown colour. So keep an eye out for us, see if you can find her. We've got a bit of pollen coming in here. It's just a pity you can't see nectar on bees. Maybe you can. Do you guys think you can see nectar on bees? Let me know. So look at that, almost a perfect outside frame. Honey, pollen, brood, nectar in these corners. You can see where they're eating the nectar, perfect. And uh, really good bee numbers on the other side. So this is the outside frame. I might just quickly shake them and have a look. Wow. Does it get any better than that? I mean, obviously brew pattern could be a bit bigger, but that's beautiful. That's perfect. So that's the outside frame. So this is just pollen, brood and these are polished ready to be laid out
beautiful brood pattern. I'm going to pinch this frame. Ah, look at that. Oh, well, it's not charged. That's good news. Maybe she needs some room. I might pinch a couple of these frames to go into that other hive that's weak. Actually, you know what I'm doing to do? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait and see if I can find the queen. And then I can take some bees with it because they're short on bee numbers. So pollen, eggs in those cells between the pollen. So right now I think that's the frame I'll probably take. They could do with a bit of room. Just still looking for this queen. She's not jumping out yet. One more to go. So again, awesome brood. So they're really maintaining a great nest. Their population isn't absolutely huge. Can always be bigger, I suppose. Just hoping I might have seen that queen. Might just quickly get rid of this crap. Okay, so no queen spotted. Have another quick look. They smell good. They don't smell manky. They've got that nice bee pheromone sort of a smell to them. Not overpowering. So, plenty of eggs and larvae, that wasn't where that frame went, I know. That wasn't the frame I was going to take. Take this one down. Shake this one down and put it in the other box. All right, so spare frame in there. They'll fill that frame out pretty quickly. Glued 
lid back on. All right, guys, so that was the green hive. Still a lot of action around the gray hive. A lot, a lot of bees in there. Check that video out if you get a chance. So now we'll head over and we'll check out the red hive. So the red hive last time had huge numbers, plenty of brood. Uh, I think eight frames of brood, but let's get into them, check them out. As you probably remember last time we went in here, they had really, really good brood numbers. We didn't spot the queen, but we know she's in there. We'll get this top box off. Have a suss. Oh, so apparently I was slack last time and I didn't put all the frames in. Now's a good time, hey. So they've drawn out, they've drawn out all these frames and started filling them with nectar. So we're probably right in thinking that this uh, flow has started. As usual, that's the last time that frame's getting used. If a hive like this can't make that into wax. So I'll get these frames in first. We'll get this box off. Have a look at the next one. So this next box is looking pretty good. Lots of B numbers. that almost capped. I'll leave this one out and have a look at some of the other ones. Almost capped. This outside one's capped. Almost capped. So they're doing right. Almost capped. Sorry about that, uh, just got stung. So yeah, this one's almost capped. So that's almost a box of honey. These guys are a bit pissy. I've been a bit rough with them though. And another frame. So they're doing right. So I'm going to take that box off and we'll suss out the brood. So these guys know what they like and they don't like me right now. I'm not too worried about it. I managed to squash a few when I was trying to take that top box off. Very, very light, this frame. Chock-a-block eggs. Chock-a-block of eggs, larvae.
same thing on this side. I really did manage to squash a few bees. Plenty of brood there. Eggs laid out through the centre. Eggs all laid out through here as well. Tell me what you think about these frames. What would you do with them? Would you put them in your honey box? I don't mind where they go personally. This is all drone comb. There's a drone being hatched there. The comb's that size, so they keep making drones. Same deal there. So the population's nice, the temperament's not that great. I mean, they're right, but they're just not the best bees in comparison to some of those other ones you saw on our other videos from today. If you haven't looked at those, check them out. Got a video on our failed nucleus hives. Another video on our uh, queen bees that we've through the glove. They're always the worst ones. You're not expecting them. Um, we've got some videos on our failed nucleuses and our queen bees that we put in a couple of weeks ago. Look at that. Who wouldn't want that every day? I really do feel lucky sometimes with these bees. As you know, it's not good beekeeping. A lot of bees in the air. Oh man, I'm getting smashed. So many things through the gloves. I don't mind getting stung, but not through the gloves. That just annoys me because the stinger stays there and you keep getting bopped every time you open or close your hand. This inspection might be coming to an abrupt end. Pollen, brood, it's laid out. There's a bit of larvae up in these top bits here. Same deal there, pollen. I think the problem is I'm squashing a few bees every time I put these frames back in. Lucky last. I've given up on looking for the queen. This has turned into just an update. Massive amounts of pollen, brood, and pollen again in the old part of the brood nest. So they could be reducing their brood size. I think maybe they're just getting a lot of pollen in. All right, let's get these across. Ah. Maybe I'll rename these guys the Big Boppers. I'm done. Let's get this excluder back on. There's plenty of nectar coming in, so I don't know why they're that upset. Let's just 
me crushing them, I suppose. There's that box. So there's the red hive. A bit pissy. Lots of bees around me. I don't know if you can see that. Lots of bees in the air in general. That's the red hive. Thank mm -hmm. you.